Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trilogy XV here bringing you another video. And last night, the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare uh, reveal trailer hit 1 million dislikes. Like, the dislike bar is like pushing the like bar with a force to be record of. It's crazy that many people don't like this game because it's set in space. They're calling it Star Wars, they're calling it Destiny, blah, 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 blah. It's it, man, man. The internet has been AIDS over the last couple of days, man. Just just because of Infinite Warfare. But I mean, you know, of of course, you know, this is this is press for Infinite Warfare. You know what I'm saying? So I don't I don't think I don't think you know unless the game comes out, you know, bad and everybody was right. Oh yay, this game was shit. Blah 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 blah. You know, really at the same time, we don't know if this game's gonna be shit. You know, I still think it might be good. This is Infinity War. Infinity War created Card 4. You know, of course, they did Ghost and people, there are mixed feelings about Ghost or whatever. I really don't want to talk about that because, you know, everybody knows how I feel about Ghost. I feel like that game was dope. But anyway, uh... I feel like like I feel like this game could be a dope game. I'm not I, I like the trailer. The trailer was dope, you know, but I'm not shitting on the game just because it's set out in space. Yes, I dislike the fact that it's not in another era. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, cause yes, I'm getting tired of the futuristic setting. Really getting tired of it. But at the same time, I'm not I'm not tripping over the fact that it's in space. I'm really not. I think it could I think it could be cool. I don't think we're gonna be flying spaceships and multiplayer or anything like that. I think Call of Duty is probably gonna stay to its to its core, you know, core mechanic or what. It it'd be dope if they had like an in game kill streak. You know what I'm saying like to end the game, it'd be like a Death Star or something like that. But <laughs> anyway, let me let me stop. But anyway. Um, basically, what I really, what I really want to talk about is you know people getting upset that I'm responding to their tweets, I'm responding to their Facebook statuses about the whole battlefield killing Call of Duty. Now, under any circumstances, I am not, I am not coming for you because someone said I was coming for him. No, I am not coming for you. I'm not there to disrespect you. I'm not, you know, there to, to, to shit on battlefields or shit on dice or anything like that. I'm not here to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just dropping facts on you. You know what I'm saying? And letting you know that you don't, we don't know what these games look like right now. We really don't. So there is no possible way. The only way Battlefield can kill, quote unquote, Call of Duty or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Is if Call of Duty releases the game and it's complete shit. I mean, bugs everywhere. Glitches. Uh, hackers able to hack it rare, very easy. Like if the game releases, you know what I'm saying, on some on some bullshit, then we can say the game is trash. Then we can say the game was shit. You know what I'm saying, but you're saying the game was shit and it's not even freaking outlet. You're only mad because of the setting. And hey, I'm upset that the setting, you know what I'm saying, is in space. But I'm not tripping. I still think it's gonna be a dope game. And that's like I I really believe in Infinity War. I believe they can do a little something something. And this is not sucking on Call of Duty's dick for... I don't know why people even say that. That's just dumb as hell. But I enjoy Call of Duty. That's just it. I, I enjoy Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure other people enjoy Call of Duty. But I'm not going to sit here and disrespect the developers because they had an idea three years ago to do space warfare or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or or have the game in a setting out in space on different planets, you know what I'm saying? Honestly, that's a good idea. That's a dope idea. It was going to happen sooner or later. That's the thing. It was going to happen sooner or later. So why not let it happen now? So, you know, I'm it's, it's, it's nothing to honestly trip over. You know, we haven't seen gameplay of Battlefield yet. We haven't seen gameplay of Infinite Warfare yet. We have to wait until these, you know, dice. We have to wait until um, Infinity War releases this stuff, you know what I'm saying, for people to see. Like I said, they have to come out with demos. They have to come out with betas. They're going to do that to show people what the game looks like. And I'm pretty sure, you know, we, we will get, we will see what multiplayer is going to be like in Infinite Warfare. Yes, I play Call of Duty. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot of videos on uh, Infinite Warfare and the Call on COD 4 Remastered. You know what I'm saying? I also am going to get Battlefield 1. I am going to play that, you know, but I do prefer Call of Duty over Battlefield. Why? Call of Duty is more fast paced other than, you know what I'm saying, Battlefield. Call of Duty has smaller maps other than Battlefield. Like, Battlefield, they put 60, I think 64 people on a map? Jeez, man. Like, I think, 
I think the largest Call of Duty has ever got is like is like t uh, 24. I guess and that's Ground War. You know what I'm saying? I think, I, I think, you know, it's 24. It's 20, it's 24 people on the map. I think, you know, 12, 12 v 12, stuff like that. But at the same time, they're not the same game. They're only the same game because they're, you know, they're, uh, they're first person shooters. Other than that, there's nothing else I feel like that brings them close to being super similar to the point where they're like the same game. Because they're not the same game. So, uh, at the same time, you know, with everyone that's up in arms about this game, saying it's going to be bad, saying this, saying that, look, man, wait until some gameplay come out. You know what I'm saying? That's what a true fan of Call of Duty, a true fan of Battlefield, a true gamer would do. Wait until you see footage of in-game in footage. Wait until you play the demo. Wait until you play, you know, the, the, the multiplayer beta, you know, of the game. And then... <clears throat> and then you make you know what I'm saying assumptions about it. I didn't like Black Ops Three. You know what I'm saying I didn't like I, I didn't I didn't I didn't like the whole Black Ops Three thing. You know what I'm saying I felt like Black Ops Three should have never came out at the same time. I feel like Treyarch should have went on here and just started over. But at the same time, you know when um when I saw it <clears throat> and they were doing all you know robotics and everything and you know cybernetics and all that, I'm like I don't know if this is going to be my game to play. And then with the thrust jumping, I just sat here. I was like, I don't know because I played Advanced Warfare. So I'm thinking it's going to be the same thing. But I'm like, let me give it a try. Let me see what it is. And then, you know, I'll, I'll make my, you know, decision on whether the game is good for me or bad for me. And I like Black Ops 3. I, I think Treyarch did good with the thrust jumping and everything. Is it going to be Infinite Warfare? Maybe. Who knows? We no no one has seen anything. Only in inf, inf, only Infinity War and Activision know that. Know what I'm saying? Only they know that. Other than that, know what I'm saying? Stop calling the game shit already when you haven't even played it yet. Come on, bro. You can't do that. As far as Battlefield goes, like I said, I want to get Battlefield. I want to play Battlefield. I want to really get into Battlefield, but I will always prefer Call of Duty over Battlefield because Call of Duty is a game I fell in love with. You know, it's it's the FPS I fell in love with. Battle some people prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty. And it's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with that. I'm not shitting on anybody's opinion. I'm not coming after anybody if I respond to you. I'm just hitting you with the facts. I'm saying if you're saying something, I'm just hitting you with the facts and we're just having a friendly conversation. The only way it can turn sour is if you make the conversation sour, which I really don't have time for. You understand me? So, uh, <clears throat> like like I said, you know, let's wait until this game come out to see what happens. And hopefully, hopefully Infinite Warfare will be good. Hopefully Battlefield, you know, 1 will be good. But you never know. You you honestly never know. You, it, yo, it is what it is. Wait until the game come out. But, yeah, 1 million dislikes on uh, Infinite Warfare reveal trailer, man. That's crazy. But, hey, man. That's that's all I really have to say. If you've enjoyed, please drop a like. I really do appreciate you subscribing. If you're not subscribing, I will catch you guys on another video or stream. I think I will stream today, maybe, but I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.